Welcome back to Cape Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Doug Weisbrod is here today to talk about how Cape Girardeau handles the tough decisions surrounding building code enforcement and how it helps keep our community safe. Doug, welcome. Thanks for having me. The tough decisions around building code enforcement. We're, we'll talk about some of those, but how, how long have you been uh, in your position? Let's Just see. over three years. Just over three years, okay. Uh, are you from the area here originally? or? I was born and raised here, and then like my high school years, I spent up in Hillsboro, Missouri, and then just moved back 12 years ago. Okay, but born and raised in, in Cape Girardeau? Correct. All right, so you're happy to be back home? Oh, yeah. Yeah? <laughs> Probably many things have, have changed, I guess, since, uh, since you were maybe last here, but uh, and there's continual change all the time in there. Oh, yeah. It's really changed like in the last two years or since I've taken the job, just the downtown area has really blossomed. You know, it really has. Uh, I was, we were just talking to Ryan about that, you know, that just uh, really almost everywhere you look, you know, there's a, a building being rehabbed or, you know, they're finding a, a space to, to, to put something up or, and I know it's, you know, downtown obviously, but it's almost really across, you know, across the city. And you know, that's, that's fun to see. Yes, sir. All right, so let's talk for a bit here about uh, building code, building and code enforcement um, and inspection services. Um, so are, are, those, are those separate entities? Do they, do they coexist in some way? Um, they coexist. So the, like the nuisance part, like the building code enforcement, my team handles like the houses and the police department handles like the nuisance calls, tall grass, weeds, cars, stuff like that. Okay. Like so, minimum property standards. Like if houses are falling apart, that's where we would come into play. Okay, and that's when we talk about kind of responsibilities of each. That's kind of how those are kind of separated. Correct. Um, and then so, and then are you involved on on both ends? Or uh, more ultimately, so on one? ultimately, after after they do all the police do all their work, it comes to me for final approval to say yes or no to abate the nuisance. So, I still am involved at the end, tail end of their okay. section. So. Okay. Um, so what, what kind of drew you to, to this particular profession? Uh, I was self-employed for 15 years and was just looking for something different. So just kind of seemed to be the, the right fit. Yeah, just kind of like a leave your mark legacy type j job. So. Sure, yeah. And, and again, we heard the phrase earlier, helping grow our community. Correct. Uh, this is just another, you know, another avenue that makes that possible. Um, so do you, do you have, is it just you? Do you, do you have a team or? So I currently ha manage nine people. We're, we're looking to fill one other position, but we have two code inspectors, three commercial plan reviewers, and then, uh, three uh, ladies at the front counter. So, okay. So how does that look a little bit? So if I want to build a new building, um, I'm talking to you quite a bit. Are, I, I am correct. Correct. And, and, and in what way? What's, what are some of, that, some, of that, some of that process? So kind of as Ryan hit on before, like we love to have people come in even before they purchase things and to see what can be done because sometimes people end up buying properties and like you just can't do a certain thing and we got to try and figure out how to make things work. But it's best to have those preliminary talks to come talk with us to make sure things will work out. And then you apply for your permits. Uh, and when you apply, we'll do the, uh, or sorry, you apply for the building permit and then we'll review the plan. So it's a commercial building. My commercial team will look at it after the architect's drawn up and delivered it to us. If there's any problems that they see in the plans, they'll let them know and revise them. And then once we approve it, then they can start breaking ground, and then the inspection team will start doing the inspections as the building progresses. And there's maybe there's different levels of that. So correct. I mean, as I'll, certain you know certain pieces are done, then it gets inspected. Correct. So they'll start with like the site to make sure this all the uh, BMPs are up in place, like silt fence so that you don't affect the neighbor's properties and stuff like that and then we'll start with the foundation or footing foundation and you get into like mechanical electrical plumbing and we'll wrap it up with the final inspection okay so you're really f from the very beginning to the very end correct your office is is very very involved correct and then we also handle the business license side too so there's a little separate inspection that goes along so okay um where, where does our code come from, like for the city? Is it, is it through, you know, recommendations from council or 
you know, if someone's like, well, I don't really like that part of the code. Like, can it can it get changed in a, in, in a certain manner? Or so, there's an international code council, ICC, that everybody refers to. So the council will adopt it. So right now, we're still in adopted 2015 ICC. Okay. And so when we go to adopt a new one, we'll look through the codes. If there's certain things that we don't agree with and can find reasons that it doesn't work for us, then we can write it out of the code, and then that gets adopted. So you're, so the code currently is based off of an established code already yep. somewhere. Um, and I guess is that kind of the goal is to try to find a, a code to adopt that is ha, has some sort of backing behind it and you're not just oh, willy-nilly so making up your own stuff? The ICC is pretty nationally recognized, in right. fact, throughout the world. So okay. different cities, municipalities adopt different versions of it. So... Like I said, we're on the 2015. 2015. Yep, they'll okay. change them every three years. So, so if we look at buildings, um, you know, how are buildings reported or recommended for inspection? If we kind of look along those lines. So, like when they get a building permit, they'll hit the contractors a call on when it's time to do certain inspections. And then, as far as like reporting buildings, like for minimum property or condemnation, the city or the citizens will kind of let you know about that. We have a, a spot on the website where they can put their information down or call. Then we'll go out and look at them and see if, hey, this house needs to be condemned. If it does need to be condemned, we, we try and work with the people to save the building. Our intent is not really to tear them down. Sure. Because then it just becomes an empty lot. So it goes through a process, and we want to work with them to get it back up into shape so that somebody can occupy it again. So there's an online nuisance Correct. reporting portal basically correct what is that timeline a lot of times between when someone reports and, and uh, usually maybe we'll, usually inspection. 24 hours we'll try and get to it okay after they report to it um and that's just on the city of cape website correct okay um when when so when is a building like i know you say you don't want to demolish buildings but at what point is it okay this this building has to go so once we condemn it, it hits a timeline, and then after so many days, you know, there'll be a hearing, and then after that, we go back to see if any work's being done, or if it's not being done, and then continually no work's being done, or nobody's responsive, then we have to look at tearing it down. And as we wrap up, time is flying by here real quick, uh, discuss real quick the, the site plan review team. Um, properties are inspected before they're built, uh, or just after or like you said there's a whole process that's going on there's a whole process so before ground broke they they'll look at the plans and review them to make sure that they're going to meet code and then once they do then they'll issue the building permit and then we'll go out and make sure it's good to break ground all right doug and the best way to find out more is just to go to the city of cape website correct all right doug we appreciate your time perfect thank you and thank you for joining us today for cape chronicle the program is a collaboration among the department of mass media at semo the City of Cape and River Radio. Our executive producer is In Jun Lee, and I'm your host, Mike Rennick. Thank you for watching.